If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Photon Store is the best place to get PCGO codes online with instant email delivery. They already have Darkness Ablaze available in bundles of 50 codes, single codes, and the pre release promo box. What are you waiting for? Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase when you're checking out. Millibotsgaming.com is the best place for you to find all the Darkness Ablaze singles you might need for your upcoming decks. Any Eternatus, anything you need. Make sure you get it at Millibots Gaming, and when you're checking out, make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Tableman. Conserving Coco Prism is gonna be pretty important, but I have no way out of the obstagon other than paralysis from the Dene. So honestly, I'm thinking try to go second and go for the item log. He plays a 212 Desiroi and a 313 obstagon. So it's more of an obstagon deck. Okay. I'm kind of feeling going second. So that my opponent doesn't get to play a supporter here, and then afterwards... Oh, what a hand though. And then afterwards, hopefully no no items for him forever. We'll see. Yeah, because if he can't play rare candy, he's gonna have a tough time setting up. He only finds the Sixagoon. Has a doll. As a quick ball, nice. The Zidoi Obstagoon, interesting. Very harsh counter to the meta. He only plays two dolls as well. Oh, with Cobalion GX, he can stop me from attacking one turn, therefore breaking the item lock. That's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I chose to go second because honestly, this hand just sucks. The K pop toughness won't matter. Like, if he sets up, I'm dead, anyways. The Iron Rule GX is. Yeah. It's gonna be tough. Oh, no. Come on, man. <laughs> probably needed that. Yeah. Probably needed that. I don't think I'm gonna win this. It's not. Yeah, not with this hand, for sure. <laughs> Gosh, why is finding B-Gold so difficult? Michael Slater, thanks so much for subscribing. Why is finding B-Gold so freakishly difficult? They made the tennis prize as well. And I lost on Electro Power and so many supporters along the way too. And made the tennis prize, which is like, I was hoping I could maybe paralyze and reset stamp him. If I could do that, then maybe I could deal with an obstacle. And what? He has his one line in hand. Chepan Peharda, thanks so much for subscribing. He just has his one, one of Linen in hand. No need to search for it. He just has it in his hand on turn one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm not winning this one. This is like the, the purest counter deck there is, right? The absolute purest counter deck there is. How do you play Obstagoon in an Eternatus Senti Scorch meta though? Crazy. Pfft. Yeah, to say I'm in trouble would be the understatement of the year. 
the one Lino. Like the only way, <laughs> the only way I was gonna be able to do something was if he, if I stopped the obstacles, right? And there's his second doll. And he just goes for the iron rule. Okay, so that means I can't attack. <sighs> okay, so whatever he did, his hand is probably very good. So I'm just gonna take his hand away. <sighs> okay, Absol could be really good. He has four scoop up nets though, and four switches, which he's already down two, but only two. So maybe my win condition is just continue to bring up Cobalion. I think that's the plan, honestly. I think I have a plan. I think I have a plan. He only plays one escape board, so that's attached. Okay. I believe I have a win condition in my mind. It's not gonna be easy. But I believe I have a win condition in my mind. I should have retreated my Jirachi. Should have retreated my Jirachi. Scoop up next to Jirachi, that's crazy. Okay. I guess he's trying to get a Rosa in his hand. I think my win condition is to just boss the Cobalion over and over and over and over. Because he's down three of his five energies. He does have Ordinary Rod, right? No, he's lost the Ordinary Rod. So he won't be able to retreat the Cobalion too many times. I think that's my win condition. And I can just recycle bosses forever with Eldegoss. And I mean, it's good that he's using up all of these cards right now. Oh, I think I have a good chance at winning this now. Gee. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing he's just trying to get all of the item cards out of the way. There's a Pokecom, finally for Obstagoon. I would love, absolutely love, if my opponent goes, yeah, switch into doll. Yes, perfect. That's the third switch. That is the third switch. That makes me so happy. That makes me very happy. So as long as I don't like dead draw for 1 million turns, I'm a firm believer I'm going to be able to win this game. Okay. So let's go Stellar Witch. And let's go Quick Ball. Okay, and let's make him panic. Right? Let's actually make him panic. Nice, boss. Okay. And I'll pass. He's used up three switches. He's used up three switches. He plays two Marnies, of which none of them are gone. There's the first one, perfect. Perfect, perfect. And I even have Belilba. I even have Belilba. Okay, so we take surprise, that's completely okay. Um, do I expect him to have his last switch? Well, he had, no, he can't scoop up now. I don't, so that's why I'm going with this. Attaches, and passes, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna attach here. And then I'm gonna still wish for turbo patch and then so I want to like attack him 
Yeah, like I'm not gonna show my... I'll do as if this was like a stall tactic, right? And hopefully he goes like research or something. It's down three switches. Okay. Is there any way he can self damage? No. that just accelerates my win condition we got this I'm fairly confident now yeah he's just attaching to the bench perfect he's just attaching to the bench that is absolutely perfect oh wait what oh it's a basic energy from the discard ball into your hand okay that's okay though. I think it's okay because it takes him two turns to attach and retreat I thought that was a search for a for a thing I really thought that was search for um, an evolution. Well, that's kind of annoying. Okay, attaches to the active. Perhaps another grass. Okay, so this is a turn where I'm gonna go discard the energy since it's free. And I'll grab Eldegoss. I'll use Eldegoss, grab the boss. Then I'll use my opponent's stadium, which he very kindly played, and I'll attach there. And I will pass. Right? You're free to play your items. There's four rare candies already in the discard pile. There's the energy attachment. Three scoop up nets. Oh, he plays the switch though. He uses the last switch. Okay. So. Okay, let me think this through. What if I attack the Jirachi? That bites me a turn, I guess. Now let's just continue to bring this guy up. Nice. Quick ball for another boss. Perfect. Next turn. Next turn. And then I'll do this to this guy. And then we'll float up. Oh, I'm so dumb. That's why I shouldn't have attacked that guy. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. I KO'd the... Oh, I shouldn't have been attacking. Oh my god, Paolo. I should not have been attacking. Oh my god. I might have messed myself up. I probably messed myself up. I probably messed myself up. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm so dumb. I 100% messed myself up. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. I should have brought up the Jirachi. I messed myself up. Okay. I think it's still okay. <sighs> I'm so silly. So silly, man. 
I messed myself up. Okay. I'm gonna need him to be at five cards. I messed myself up, I'm so silly. Nope. How do I only have one lightning in the discard pile? I think I can still do it, but I definitely messed messed up by attacking the the thing. And I just messed up by playing Eldegoss. I just messed up by playing Eldegoss. Oh, I'm messing myself up. Just lost two energies right there. Okay, so no items for you. Yes. I should have never attacked that Cobalion. I got no benefit from stopping items there. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I absolutely cannot mark it, right? I absolutely cannot mark it here. I should have used the stadium. Should have used the stadium. Okay, you can have this Jirachi. still do this but I should not have attacked the Cobalion EX. GX, sorry, GX. Okay, I need to hurry up though. Ooh, I got Eldegoss. Okay, so I think I win. I Paralyzing Bolt, no items, so he can't play the doll. He can't play a doll. Ah, oh, he does have the Marnie. Uh, 
Uh, he has the Marty, man. Now it's four turns to go. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. How do I survive four turns? I think I can actually. I actually think I can survive four turns. Four turns. If I hadn't attacked the Kvalian though, I would have been perfectly fine. And this would have been over a while ago. Okay. Let me do this. No? Wow. Well, that sucks. Okay. So, three turns. That skateboard is actually gonna be pretty important. So, I go Paralyzing Bolt. No, because then he can bench the dolls. Energy on the Eldegoss, that was wrong. I think I can do it. Switch. Still left. Doll. Doll. Okay, so he retreats. Yeah. Puts both of them back. And then hits me. Deck did just get shuffled. Okay. Please don't discard Eldegoss. Oh, I did discard this switch though. I did discard this switch. Oh, but I discarded both dolls. Oh my god. I discarded both dolls. I discarded both dolls. I two turns though. I need to top deck Eldegoss. If I top deck Eldegoss, you win. If I top deck Eldegoss, I win. 25% chance. If I top deck Eldegoss, I win. Two turns. Two turns to win. If I top deck Eldegoss, I win. Scoop up net. Wait, you have no more rare candies though, right? Yeah, no. Oh, no way. Hmm. 
Wow, he has his last six again available. Yeah, that works too. That works too. Ooh, Marty, okay. Oh no, Marty doesn't help me here. Yeah, because then I replenish his deck. Yeah, Marty doesn't help me because then I replenish his deck. I messed up. I 100% messed up. By top the kettle goes, I win. One in three chances. One in three chances. Let's go, deck. Let's go. Let's freaking go. One in three chance. One in three chance. One in three chance. Yes! Yes, the top deck king does it again. <laughs> the top deck king does it again. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Pickabolt mirror match for the win and in. And thanks so much for the follow, Rotopath, Chio Dude. Thank you so much for the follows. Pickabolt mirror match. He has double Milo Lana, and he has Choo Choo, and he has Mareep. So this is looking scary for me, for sure. This is like Celio's list, I imagine. Okay, so do I wanna go second? Yeah, he has Guzma Hala, so I think I do want to go second. <laughs> well, this is a hand, I guess. <laughs> this is a hand, I guess. All right. Thank you so much for the subscription, Edmanalo, on YouTube. Thank you so much. Okay, so he starts the Dene. Am I gonna triple Electro Power Paralyzing Bolt at the Dene, please? <laughs> it's not quite onto cut yet. Oof, I really hope I can uh, Marty away that. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, I really think I just Marty. Like, maybe I play one Electro Power, but even that is risky. Not happy about it, but... Oh, what? Well, that's a thing. Okay, if I play this, however, I am definitely not going to be able to um, well I item lock him and I think that's pretty great because that stops him a reap play like if we exchange item lock now that's perfectly okay by me right that's perfectly okay by me oh my opponent just draw passes okay do I go after the my reap do I go after the my reap so I don't have to deal with sleep shin any games I really think that's a good call. Oh, it's iffy though. Or do I just get the first hit onto the V Gold? Yeah, I'll get the first hit onto the Gold. I think that's better. So we're gonna exchange paralyzing bolts. I think that's okay. Alright, music stopped. Not mean for that to happen. Not mean to open Spotify either. Okay, so do I want to Marty? 
Do I want to bring up the other Beacon Vault? Honestly, I think there's merit to bring up the other Beacon Vault without the Gust. And putting both in range of, um, of my regular attack. So I miss an energy drop. Right. So the Marnie we got. Wow, my opponent actually fails. Oh, that turbo patch sucks. Okay. Um, good draws, good draws. We can play items, so let's make the the most out of that. Therefore, let's grab Absol. Oh, yeah, my opponent has Balloon, but that way he can't easily retreat ever. So things are looking pretty nice here, honestly. Okay, so the question is, do I want to KO right now? I don't think so. I think I want to just keep up the pressure with Paralyzing Bolt, because clearly my opponent didn't have energy last turn, so he might not have one this turn. Get another boss. Okay, so my opponent could KO me here, but I think that would be okay. Not letting off the item lock would be great. I don't run Guzma Hala, no. KO with the GX attack that I mean with the item lock I think that's the dream right that's pretty much the dream all right so I'm just I'm not gonna do anything okay if my opponent doesn't KO me here that's gonna be insane so I fully expect him to knock me out right fully fully expect him to knock me out Oh wait, no, he can't, he can't, he can't. If he knocks me out, frees himself up from the, ooh, maybe, oh, now he can't knock me out. And now I think I definitely knock him out. Yeah, now I'm just gonna knock him out. I think we've got this, honestly. Because now I go Super Sap Cannon. Discard the basic lightning. So that's two vehicles down. I am down to two prizes and I can just KO the Denny at any point. Yeah. Or the next Vigobolt. Like I can't immediately KO the next Vigobolt, but I have this Vigobolt ready on the bench. So I'm feeling really good. And there's an Absol in play as well. So my opponent gets a turn of items. He can't go crazy with the two rule patches and whatnot and KO me, right? So maybe, no, I couldn't switch out. Never mind. I was under item lock. Uh, my opponent does not play reset stamp. He does play four Marnie, however. He does play four Marnie, however. Maulana and Guzmahala. Goes for Acro. So I'm guessing he's digging for Vigolt. Okay, discards the stadium. I think we've got this. I actually think we've got this. I wish there was a way to reduce your, your damage output. <laughs> that way Vigolt could trap stuff in the active for longer. Okay. 
I will expect my opponent to Marty here, right? Like that has to be the play. Put me to sleep and Marty. Ooh, the Dene. <laughs> yeah, there's a Marty. There's a Marty. It doesn't seem like there will be item lock though. I get Mallow Lana, that's crazy. So if he knocks me out, yeah, that means that Dene is gonna Dede change here. He knocks me out with Dede change. So the sleep doesn't matter and I have Mallow Lana to get out of the sleep and just win the turn after. And I'm gonna have him under item lock. I think we got this guys. I think we're in top cut. Or we're gonna get close to top cut. I think we're gonna be close to top cut. All right, yeah, so there's a GX attack. Who does he promote? Amarip, perfect. Yeah, perfect. We knock one out. If I had knocked out the Marip earlier on, yeah, this wouldn't have been as good. Okay, let's still wish to shuffle our deck. Ooh, the Marty is fantastic here. Yeah, the Marty is pretty good. Well, is it though? Yeah, I think it's pretty okay. Well, okay. Oh no, I messed that up. I thought I had another lightning in the discard pile. Is the Marnie actually good though? Because I have Malo Lana and I don't want to be, yeah. The last thing I, wanna, I want to happen is to be put to sleep. The last thing I want to happen is to be put to sleep. Oh no, that should have gone to this Vika Vault. Oh, I messed that up. That should have gone to this Vika Vault. The last thing I want to happen is to be put to sleep when he has B Gold in the active. Oh. You went to 2 C9 Ing. No, I'm sorry. Okay, well, there's the energy. So we, are, we will be asleep, right? And we will be. Um... Hmm, maybe I should have Marty. I don't know. Maybe, okay, what I should have done, in order to guarantee the win, this is what I should have done. I should have attached the skateboard to this Vika Vault and attacked with this Vika Vault. So then I would be asleep, right? I'd be able to retreat and attack. And then next turn, I would be able to, um, I would be able to, to Mallow Lamp. Right, so the issue comes if my opponent has his own Malolana, which I think we know he does. Which I think we know he does. So, do I just hit him for a lot? I think that's my best play. I'm just gonna get, hit him for a lot. Because what does item lock really do for me? I am item locked, so I'll grab the Marty, I guess. No, I'll grab the cape. And I'd rather not put Marty at the bottom of Marty. Um, it's just his Malolanas could be the problem. So what's the worst that happens if he has item? No, I'm gonna item lock, I'm gonna item lock. I'm gonna item lock. We know he has Malolana, but he has to use it now to only heal 50 rather than next turn. And then I'll be put to sleep. As long as I have two vehicles to his one, I think I'll be okay. I think. This is so tough though. Actually, no, if he knocks me out and I can't knock him out in return, um, then I'm in trouble. Because then he could go boss KO Eldegoss. Okay. So the Marty is good here because I take away his presumable Malolana in hand, which he very correctly safe right now. Okay, so I do stay asleep. Ah, the boss. Key winning boss right there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that's, yeah. I honestly think attaching 
Like attaching to all the gods has merit for sure. But I'm just gonna pass here. Oh, ho, ho, I woke up. I mean, my opponent still has switches and whatnot, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah, he has four switches left. So I'll probably be asleep at the end of this turn. Oh no, yeah, four switches. E power. I mean, he has to put me to sleep, right? Otherwise, he's done for. And Kiang Wing, thanks so much for subscribing on YouTube, along with Ed Manalo. I missed you guys' uh, notifications. Okay, Malolana, as expected. So he's choosing what to discard. I imagine... Yeah, he's gonna continue with the item lock, right? Ooh, there's a Crobat. Okay, well, maybe all I need to do is be patient. Maybe all I need to do is be patient. Like, now that that Crobat is there, I just need Boss to win, right? I really just need Boss to win. As long as I have two big ults, I just need Boss to win. And I have Star Wish and I have Belly Change. And I have two bosses left. So it's all gonna be, it might come down, yeah, it's gonna come down to the boss. I don't need to worry about the E powers. I'm just gonna deadly change this turn. Oh, I woke up. I actually woke up. Okay, well, top deck king. I am the top deck king today. <laughs> I am in fact the top deck king today. Wow. Crazy. Nice. 9 1. That should 100% be top 4. Right? That should 100% be top 4. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very lucky too, but very nice. Yeah. Very lucky too, but very, very nice. Double heads plus the boss, like that was very lucky. Extremely lucky on my part, yeah? I'm getting super, super lucky today. No argument there, I'm just getting extremely, extremely lucky. Alrighty, so we have the win. We have the win. Alright. <clears throat> Hello, thank you so much. And Alexander Bay, thank you so much for subscribing on YouTube.
Okay, so I think I would definitely want Bird Keeper in this deck just for the Marie decks. Yeah. 191 goes bubble, really? Oh, I got the bubble. Oh my god. I got fifth place. I bubbled. I bubbled. Wow, I bubbled. Wow. Wow, that is heartbreaking. Nine one bubble. I bubbled. <sighs> Can't believe this. Wow, I bubbled. I bubbled. <sighs> well, I bubbled, guys. I am so sad right now. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna end the stream like this with a bubble. Heart. I bubbled. Well, that's gonna be it guys, 9-1, bubble. What about channeler? No, Charizard, channeler is not great. Like, Bird Keeper gives you benefits outside of the mirror match. Malwana gives you benefits outside of the mirror match. Uh, all right. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's stream. Thanks so much to everyone who stuck around and who rooted for me. Big shout out to Charizard X Best. Yeah, your positive attitude definitely, definitely is a cool, a cool thing. Yeah, I really appreciate it. So big shout out to Charizard X Best. See you guys next time.